So now let's look at how to visualize function transformations in Maple. So first of all, let's define as a function. Uh, let's do the absolute value function. f of x is the absolute value of x. So f colon equal takes x arrow, so it takes x to the absolute value of x. An absolute value is a predefined Maple function, so you just use abs to represent the absolute value. So what does this look like? Well, let's see, we can plot f of x and say we want our x's to range from negative three to three and our y's to range from negative two to three. So there's what the absolute value function looks like. So now we're gonna do a function shift. We're gonna shift this function three places to the left. So the way we're gonna do that is we're going to define a new function. We're gonna say g now takes x to whatever x was, but evaluated at x plus three instead of x. So now let's plot this and we've shifted to the left, so we maybe want a little more range in the x direction. So let's go negative six to zero in the x direction and keep negative two to three in the y direction. So we see we've got now the graph that's the absolute value, but shifted three places to the left because we added three to the function argument. Okay, so now let's shift g of x down by four spaces. So let's define yet another function, h dot equals, and this one's gonna take x to, now we wanna find g, but we wanna shift it down. So we take g of x and subtract four. Now if we plot this, Maybe let's take x from negative six to zero again, but we've shifted down, so maybe y should go from negative five to zero. And we see we've now got the absolute value function shifted three to the left, that was g of x, and then we shifted down by four for this h of x. So what if you want to visualize this by putting them all on the same graph? You can totally do that. You can plot f of x, g of x, and h of x. We want our x to go from say minus five to five and our y from negative five to say four. And this gives us all three of our functions. Our original absolute value is there in red, then in blue we have our g of x, which was three to the left, and then in green we have our h of x, which was three to the left and then four down. So say you want some nice labeling for your graph, like you want a legend or a title. You can get these things. Um, you just have to tell it that you want a legend. You just add an argument to your plot command, legend equals, and then in square brackets, you tell it what functions you want included on the legend. And I want all three, f, g, and h. So now I get a nice graph, and down here, there's a nice legend that tells which colors go with which functions and what the expressions defining those functions are. I could get a title as well by taking my command, my plot command, and now adding a title request. So title equals, and then in quotes, I'll call this transformations of f of x is equal to the absolute value of x. And now I have a nice graph with a title at the top and a legend at the bottom. 
So this is how you can use Maple as a powerful tool for visualizing what happens to the graph with certain changes in the equation. And we've done it for just shifts, you know, left right shifts and up down shifts, but you can do similar things for reflections. And also we've seen how to get some nice labeling such as legends and titles in our graph.